Friday. Finally Friday. Y'all was ready for the weekend as I am. Oh yeah. I think my kids are even more ready for the weekend. Oh. Well, they just got two days of school behind them, so. Oh yeah. Well, our little boy, he started uh, kindergarten Thursday, because that's when our kids went back. So, yesterday was an adventure to say the least. Absolutely. <laughs> no doubt. Have y'all come out with an even longer ratchet? No, so that's our 30 inch ratchet. It's a 308 is the part number, CFR 308. But we had a guy who was looking at the, I think it's 248, so it's the one that's right there. Um, and he wanted it just a hair longer. So we ordered him that one. So now he'll actually have one of every size I think that's the size I have is this size. Yeah. I so I think in here. the book they show that it's actually just a little bit longer. So I'm not 100% if they go from like end of the handle to the end of the head of the ratchet or mm -hmm. if they go from like just the chrome piece of the ratchet. I would think it was handled at the head, but... Uh, My joker's long. So I think it's 33 and a half inches is what it is if wow. you actually measure it out. But they say 30, so I'm assuming the 30 is the chrome. And then head to handle is the 33. That's a lot of ratchet. It is. But if you want to go a little bit longer, uh, you can move up to a three quarter inch ratchet. Yep. So we actually have some 18 wheeler shops that do that. Mm -hmm. They were having a field day with a half inch ratchet. So they were like, well, I need to just move up just a little bit, which Michael actually, you know, he's like, look, how might we try this one out? And they haven't messed with either one of them yet, so. Well, that's good. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good, I think. Can't beat it. Well, what new and exciting stuff y'all got today? Let me see. I don't know of anything new yet. Okay. But exciting. Let's see. Uh, so, everybody loves clip tools. Yep. And I'm a fan of the one with the actual thick handle. Mm -hmm. And these are the thin handle. So right. a lot of people like those. And you see, they're like super thin. Right. So getting in a lot more places than your big handle one, which mm -hmm. I think I sold out of those. And they come in different styles. So. I'm not 100% what you're going to use this U-shape one for, yeah. but I'm sure to come in handy if you need it. Pretty cool. <laughs> but our most popular one out of this one, because you can order them individuals. So for some reason, let's say you don't need that U-shaped one, which is fine, is this one. So it's CL008. Okay. So that's the most popular, this style. And then the one with the handle for somebody that has downloaded the app and it's just mm -hmm. gonna look up part numbers. I think it's called Up 43 is our most popular handled style. So cool. they're pretty neat. And I had one on here, but I guess Michael sold it yesterday. <laughs> I had go. it hid up in the corner so I could have a comparison. Yeah, well. <laughs> That's why you did. Be all right. So you ain't sold the bump box yet? Yeah? <laughs> oh, we have. Oh, so yeah. this one is Michael's. Okay. And I put it on here, like whenever we sell out of the ones that are actually I have in stock, mm -hmm. we'll keep them on here and then people will actually order it off having it here. There you go. I'm sure Michael would sell it. It's hard to, it's hard to sell it if you can't see it. You know? Exactly. So they had been out for a little bit and then at Expo they had made a comment that they were getting the bigger one out and as soon as it comes out, like I can order it. Right. We're definitely going to order one. But it like stands waist high. Holy cow. Yeah. That's it, it's, crazy. it's nice. You can get your workout with it. <laughs> but uh, so that one, it is Michael's. We've sold a bunch of it off of them. A lot of people like getting on here and cutting it on. Right. And I've got to be careful because sometimes it connects to my phone and there ain't no telling what my kids have been watching. So you get all <laughs> kind of YouTube videos. Yeah. Which you know how kids are. I'm sure Caroline's the same way. Yeah. <laughs> Which with the baby, we've been we've been watching Mrs. Rachel. Mrs. Rachel is nice. Yeah, but it gets very annoying after a while. Just wait till she goes to Blippy. <laughs> oh yeah. Our kids were obsessed with Blippy, so you'd flip it on and you would hear excavator, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are there a garbage truck song? <laughs> oh, yeah. 
You know, it's still better than uh, baby shark. I think baby sharks kind of swam its course. And... You think that? But they have remixes of baby shark and our middle child, she is seven. She'll be eight her birthday. She hated her car seat with a passion. Baby shark was the only thing that kept her calm. Before it got huge, Yeah. my mother-in-law found it on YouTube as we were going by Dollar General in South Tilla. And I remember that because she was screaming. And as soon as it come on, she just, like it was, it was fine. Yeah, well, but she is still obsessed with it. Like the I wish song. I could have come up with something like that. It'd be nice to <laughs> I have know. pocket fulls of money for something silly like that. Well, even that, like Blippi. Blippi literally goes around and he is the excavator. Like he goes around and plays with um, big equipment, heavy equipment, garbage trucks and stuff like that. I mean, I feel like Michael could do that for a living, like playing with big equipment. <laughs> Cause he, I mean, he just loves stuff like that. And I mean, oh. I mean, video yourself doing it, millions of followers. There you go. It must be nice. Must yeah. Be nice. Well, you've got quite a few, I got to admit. Didn't you just get a award or something like that? Yeah, 100,000. See? It's a long way from millions though. You never know, all it takes <laughs> is that one video that hits and then everybody starts following. Absolutely, I hear you. <laughs> well, y'all yeah. got any good Milwaukee deals, anything new? And well, as you can tell, it has went like I completely it, full to... Yeah, that's why I was asking. There must be some kind of big something going on. Cause well, our most... I'll tell you, this week has been the by the half inch ratchet, not ratchet, half inch impact or the three quarter, not three quarter, three eighths inch. My paper's gone. Sorry about that. Um, but you buy one and you get a free battery. Mm-hmm. So a lot of people that have Milwaukee, I think we've did this before, right. have already got a charger or the six bay charger or the right. four bay charger because Milwaukee, you always get a free charger with mm -hmm. your kit. You can have too many, in my opinion. I mean, we have a shop that has like half a dozen just placed around. He finally ended up with two of the six bay chargers and he's fine now. Right. But off on a subject, but the half inch impact, you get a free battery and then the 3 8 impact you get a free battery. I think it's a 5 0 capacity resistant battery. So if y'all don't know, the the Milwaukee batteries actually have like a little shield on them now, mm -hmm. and they're supposed to be more resistant to like oil and fluids and stuff like that. Don't douse it. But if you look at the bottom of it, it actually has holes cut out in the bottom so it can, instead of sitting in there and corroding the battery, it Drain out. leaks it out, which I don't know about you, but I'm sure some tools have got left out in the rain. Oh yeah. If your little boy plays with them. <laughs> well, I left my drill, my Milwaukee drill out one night and it rained on it. I thought, oh, that thing's ruined. I mashed the trigger and it didn't spin. I took my hand and twisted the chuck. Yeah. And Off he, he goes. missed a beat. Yeah. I guess it was a little stove up, but I get a little stove up in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so. Especially if you've been left out in the rain. Yeah. Um, we had a impact. Michael was changing the oil or something. Maybe it was the oil or tire or something other. And he left his wobble socket. It was a tire, I believe. But anyways, our little boy got a hold of it and he was playing. Well, he ended up digging in the dirt with it. So you have this, now it was a cone to Milwaukee. It wasn't the new snub right. style. So you can kind of have a general idea. So he's sitting there wallering it out, you know, playing dirt everywhere. And I'm like, oh Lord, what am I gonna do? Cause I mean, it's like red clay dirt cause Mississippi is red clay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it come clean. I'll tell you that. And it still works to this day. Can't beat it, there you go. <laughs> but yeah, so the battery getting up to date with the tool is nice, you know, because we have salvage yards yeah. who all they do is take stuff apart. And, and it's them guys nothing. are rough, rough yeah. on stuff too. They are very rough, but Milwaukee has that five year warranty. And it's, I don't know how everybody else gets dealt with with Milwaukee. I'm assuming it all has to do with who picks up your repair order mm -hmm. whenever it comes into the actual DC. And you might end up with a brand new one back and which is pretty awesome. But then the same guy that sent off, that was his dad. Cause we had, this is an example. We had a guy get on here that works at Salvage Yard and his dad get on here. Same tool, same Milwaukee, whatever, but the dad was a little bit older. The son just got his. Sent both of them all at the same time. The son got back a refurbished one, 
which was his, and then the dad got back a brand new one in a hard case. Wow. And I was like, well, you'd think the new guy, you know, the mm -hmm. newer one would get, you know, the new, but no. So nice. it all depends on who you get at the DC. The luck of the draw, huh? Yeah. So luckily the son actually came up here to get both of them. And he's like, do I got to tell him which is which? I said, the serial number's on there. So I said, it's up to you. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I ramble a little bit, but it's funny how that works out. But they Absolutely. both ended up with great tools. I mean, same concept, still had the five-year warranty. Mm -hmm. And it was nice. That's true. <laughs> well, hopefully you guys enjoy your weekend. Yes. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, we got a birthday party Saturday, so Good exciting. Time. There you go. <laughs> All right, guys. Like always, thanks for hanging out with us today. It's Friday. Go enjoy your weekend. Hit that thumbs up. Check over merchandise. Cool tools and discount codes down there. If you're not subscribed, take your finger and click that button. You have a great weekend. See ya.